That's where the PDA comes in. Not your personal digital assistant, but the pusher doofer assembly. <laughs> which is basically set up to be the, for the right thickness of plexiglass to fit right on there. This goes around the outside the edges. You'll note it's uh, bigger than, it's actually bigger than the part. That's so that it, the, uh, you know, it's not right on the part itself. You just did that on a piece, you'd find that it had shrunk in uh, dimension by about 2% and correspondingly got just a fuzz thicker as a result. Okay, so that, that's the forming. You'll see the actual demonstration uh, here in a minute. How do I attach this? You have several options, one of which I uh, left out there, but it's just a bit, looks like a big tube of cement. Uh, the most, the, if you go someplace and ask for plexiglass cement, they'll give you stuff that's like the liquid cement that you may have used on model airplanes. It's the consistency of water, and it runs like that. George can tell you about it. He's yeah. used it. Uh, I also found a place... Hold on, hold on. It's great for putting fingerprints on your lens. Okay. You know what I mean? You're holding you everything it. together and it's all nice and stiff and then your fingers come off and you have fingerprints so all over Personalization. Yeah. And so you know how, where you are. Or that it's yours. Right plane, okay, I did manage to find again, searching around the internet, found a place that deals in uh, supplies for aquariums, for building your own aquariums, which are plexiglass, could be. And they actually sold a tube of thickened it's cement, which we figure is the same stuff with, just with some plastic melted into it. So, which uh, we're hoping to use to uh, put this lens with the backing plates together so that where the edges aren't exactly... Uh, uh oh. Per uh, it's just 10 minutes, but it's still... 15-second fuse? No. Oh. Just ignore it. Pay no attention to the beat behind the curve. Uh, we're hoping to use that. If you're joining... That's for plexiglass to plexiglass. If you're joining it to fiberglass like we'll be doing here, we'll be cutting out a hole smaller than is marked here and then putting it in from the back and just bonding it in with more, fi more fiberglass. Uh, roughing up the surface may help you get a better bond. But ben Jealous tells us is when you put in the screws, you tighten them all in, get them snug, then go around and back out each one by a quarter to half a turn so that it's not putting any additional stress on the part. Now why do I care, or well, I'll tell you about why I care about the strip. This was the last one we did. It's not quite clear. It's got a little imperfections in here from the felt. That's a result of, or the felt. This man tells me that's easy to polish out. I believe him, but he hasn't shown me how yet. So, so uh, I'll figure that out someday. Okay? That's, that's going to cost it. And you leave it stressed. That stress will lower the surface tension of the material. Also, solvents will further lower the surface tension allowing it then to crack. Commandant, does that sound familiar? Uh, yeah. Little pieces of Lexan that we bent into place and then and they then, And then vibrate the hell out of it. Yeah, that yeah. helps. So we need to actually form those to shave. Uh, how do I minimize the crazing? Uh, simply, as we said before, smooth all the edges. You know, get them down as smooth as you can because if there's no crack there, or, you know, cracks, Big cracks tend to come from little cracks. If you get rid of as many of the little cracks as you can, you're going to uh, reduce the chance of getting those cracks. Don't install it with residual stress, meaning you know, don't force it into position and just screw it in. It should be formed to the shape and then be able to just float in that area. Make the screw holes big enough so it can move around without uh, contacting the screws. And then when you clean it, you know, there are a lot of cleaners that are sold for plastics, for plastic windshields and so forth. Use those. Don't use Fantastic or 409 or anything else that might have any sort of petroleum products in it. Pledge furniture that. polish works pretty yeah. well. Is that? Yeah, Pledge is good. Yeah. Pledge is good. And in fact, uh, furniture polish, what polish does, the way it polishes out the, uh, the little bitty cracks, the reason they disappear is it's a waxy substance and it basically puts wax down in, in there and once the surface is smooth again, it becomes clear. 
I left puller for the job. I need a right puller for the job. Yep, that oh. Another volunteer. Uh, I thought you said you were the right puller. Oh, that's okay. okay. Oh, we're right ahead. I'll, I'll okay, let me brief you. Okay, where, 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 where is his... Uh, his right gauntlets. Oh, okay. He doesn't need it this time. I need a, I need a right no, puller name done. here. Oh, oh. Go ahead. Oh, oh, okay. volunteer then. She's plus 27. <laughs> Nick. Nick. Blah, 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 blah. Nick, uh, what? G. 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 With the whole thing. Yeah. A. G. A. R. A. S. I. M. O. W. I. C. Z. S. O. No. There's more? Yeah. 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 Good Irish name. Oh, yeah. Five, seven. <laughs> Nick Jones. Got it. <laughs> okay. okay. I need an aluminum peeler. This is going to feel like more pressure than right. you're thinking about. You're thinking about laying it down and pulling it. So we're going to have to pull this pretty hard. So what you want to yeah. do is don't balance, hits. balance yeah. out Put, what push I do. Down yeah. that. Don't, don't let me see. Don't let me pull it's you not going going anywhere. Just keep pulling. By the way, these two by fours here. Okay. No, no, no. no, no, no. I'm over here. Yeah, that's grand. Okay. Oh, who's this? Sure. Let's okay. Ben. Ben. Tell ben. Me your name. Ben Harvey. A J R. <laughs> B-E-Y? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Ben Jones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think rabbit. No. Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is, when it, we're at 336. When it gets around 350, okay, now you actually have two jobs. Your oven, your aluminum peeler and an oven door closer. Okay. Okay? What, what is the acronym for that? Uh, it, it'll show up in the newsletter, whatever it is. Okay, so what we do when we get somewhere around 350 or so, we're going to open this up. You'll want to position yourself on the other side of him because there's not a lot of room to work with here. Okay, you and George will or grab your respective ends here. Try to avoid the bolts because they'll be warmer than the rest. And bring it out. The aluminum will come It'll all be 350. It. Just hold it up. You'll... Peel, peel the aluminum off. You can just Transfer throw the aluminum it. back in there. Yeah, and and get, 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 get out my thermal book the here and figure this off. one out. George will walk back this, this way. You come with him. Like he said, fold it down, pull it over this, which point then you can close the door back. Once you've got that pushed down, I'll take the PDA, the pusher do for assembly, get it on here, and proceed to push down around it. And once I'm set in place, we all then, holler, cool her off. And then uh, yeah, the scale composite comes in. And the scale composites will come in and cool down the. Uh, Which really down. means cooler on, right? Yeah, that's right. Cooler on. Cooler because on. basically, cooler off. because yeah. basically, cooler off, cooler on. basically yeah. we're too lazy. Do we have to, a subcontract uh, for this, or you know, 15 minutes for stuff to cool down? Uh, stuff here.